Outdoors is a leading manufacturer of outdoor cooking and camping products. Whether you're a weekend warrior or a serious outdoor enthusiast, we offer a complete line of outdoor leisure products perfect for camping, tailgating, or backyard gatherings. We have the finest line of 18-8 Italian stainless steel and aluminum outdoor cooking equipment. From our stainless steel turkey kits and propane burners to our outdoor patio heaters, you'll not find a better line of outdoor cooking products and accessories anywhere. In this program, you'll see firsthand how to make the most out of your next outdoor cooking experience. Hi. Welcome to Outdoor Cooking by Eastman Outdoors. I'm Chef Jake Fisher. And today, I'm going to show you how to deep fry turkey, make a low country boil. Then we'll go to a campsite where I'll show you how to deep fry some fish, blacken some fish, a shrimp boil, and some onion rings. Then we'll take you to a tailgate and we'll show you some techniques to make your next tailgate a smash with our Mojave wings and Cajun burgers. Before that, let's go over some important safety features. Then we'll be ready to cook. Before we start, let's go over some important safety tips and features and learn how to properly attach the tank to the burners. When you're working with propane gas or hot oil, be sure to keep pets and small children at a safe distance. Start by attaching the tank to the collar. Now if the collar is broken or the tank is rusted or any of the valves are rusted, replace them immediately. First, by hand, screw the collar onto the tank. So you screw it on tightly. Then we'll check for leaks. Open the valve and use a soapy sponge to run around the edge. This will bubble up if there's a leak. We're using the uh, Eastman Outdoors patented Y adapter. This is uh, pretty interesting because you can light two burners and use two, two burners for one tank. Two small ones, your barbecue grill, whatever you want to use. Once you're Slowly open the valve and using a long handled lighter, ignite from underneath. Now you can adjust the flame and we're ready to cook. And use a single hose, attach it just the same. Let's go. start, we have to fill our pot with oil. Eastman Outdoors comes with a convenient fill line stamped on the side. The lower one is for 16 to 18 pounds, and the top one is for 10 to 15 pounds. We have a 13 pound turkey we're cooking today, so we're going to fill this to the top line. Today I'm using peanut oil, which is really good for frying. You can take this to a high temperature, and it doesn't burn very quickly. Okay, now we're ready to cook the bird. Start by using Eastman Outdoors Crazy Cajun and Garlic Lemon Pepper Seasoning and Eastman Outdoors Garlic Butter and Santa Fe Salsa Injectables. These have both been prepared so they won't flash off in cooking and when I say flash off, I mean they won't dissipate. They won't lose their bold tangy flavor when they get hit with a high temperature. First we're going to pull the skin back and rub the seasoning inside the bird. Get in there pretty good, all around. This will penetrate, add flavor, some moisture. It's got natural phosphates inside of it, just for that. 
Then we're gonna inject the bird. If you wanna do this the day before, leave it overnight. It'll really boost the flavor. When you use injectables, make sure you put it in another container so it won't contaminate. Just put in there what you're gonna use. Make sure you poke a few holes in there before you start. This way, it kind of breaks up the meat, so it'll be a little more pliable to work. When you're injecting, turn it a few different ways. Go from both sides. Don't forget the drumstick and the thigh. We're gonna be able to use two flavors, two flavors of marinade, injectables, and two flavors of seasoning because the breastbone will keep them separate so you can enjoy two different flavors and everyone can have a choice what they like. And once again, both sides. So really add some moisture, some great flavor to this bird. I have a monster injector that allows you to really get inside there without puncturing the skin. That really seals in the juices. It helps, if you'll notice sometimes, we get those small injectors, puncturing the skin going in there. That loses flavor, it comes out, flashes off when you cook it. Now that we're all seasoned and injected up, we're gonna check our temperature. Ready? And we'll take the bird. Make sure his legs are up when you put him on the stand. There we go. Now we're gonna fry this at 350 degrees. We use gloves. Here we have some Eastman Outdoors gauntlet style leather gloves. Protection against the warm grease. Remove the thermometer. Cook. Now it's time to fry this. We're gonna fry it, be very careful. So we're gonna lower it in here. Lower it slowly. The reaction with the bird The moisture causes the fry and oil to uh, bubble up. You don't want to bubble everywhere. We need to totally submerge the bird. Okay. Make sure you don't use this again until you wash it, because that causes cross-contamination. That's when a cooked product goes where a raw product's been. That would cause salmonella. So, cleaned up. Now, we're going to do a country boil. We have the Eastman Outdoors pot, some boiling water in it, and strainer that goes inside. First, we start out with potatoes. These take a little while to cook. Potatoes take a little longer to cook than the other products. So we'll just lower those in here. And add our flavor. It's Eastman Outdoors Crazy Cajun. And you're gonna put a good amount in this because it's gonna flavor a lot of things. 
Get that in there. I can taste it. We'll let that boil come up to a boil, and we'll start adding different ingredients for the low country boil. This is really a preference, what you want to add of vegetables. Normally, it has potatoes and corn. I like to put in some sausage, which really adds some nice flavor. So let's put the sausage in here. We let that come to a cook again. When you make a boil, you have to add everything in stages. Potatoes take longer, the sausage is next, then the vegetables and the seafood. If you're using chicken, chicken goes in along with the potatoes. Here we have some vegetables, some corn, peppers, onions. They're all cut up. Flip that up. Lower it down. Next, we're going to add our shrimp. And the shellfish. Some clams. And some mussels. Let's come back to a boil. The shrimp will turn pink. The clams and mussels will open up. It's going to be a fantastic feast. Eastman Outdoors has a full line of all-weather gazebos featuring detachable walls and screens as part of Eastman's versatile safari system. Today, Chef Fisher is cooking under the all-weather hexagon gazebo, which has available our patented easy setup walls and screens. Okay, our turkey's ready to pull up. First, we're going to remove our thermometer. We need to check the turkey, so hook it up. Check it in the thigh. Yeah, 180. And in the breast. Perfect temperature. So we're ready to do that. Let it drain a little bit. Just slide that out. We let the turkey rest for about five or ten minutes because it's extremely hot when we cut it. But while we do that, we're going to do some fries, home fries in here, and season them up. Use some outdoor seasoning. So, take our pot, strains, our fries right inside there. Potatoes, any cut, round, square. Just lower those. Right in here. Same thing with the turkey. We're going to cook them, pull them up. Submerge those fries. Now our turkey's ready to cut. You know, a lot of people think that this is pretty oily. In actuality, it's not. It seals in the juices. Pull it on the outside to make the skin nice and crispy. Look at this flavor that we have put all throughout the turkey. And the skin, look at the seasoning on the skin. It's just like you rubbed the meat. Stayed in there, penetrated. It's pretty, pretty, pretty nice, huh? Fantastic. Ah. Taste it. Good eating. Okay, our boil's ready to go. So, go in, hook this up, uh, pull it, look at that. Boil tradition in a Louisiana town in Low Country. And it just usually put paper down 
Just pour this on the table. Everyone gets around and digs in. Look at that. All right, our fries are just about done. We're gonna get our gloves on. This is one of those special things that really adds flavor to make, make this more than a meal. Kind of gourmet. I noticed everyone, when I do this, comes back for these fries. So we'll just take the fries, put them in this bowl. Not only are they tasty, but it's really a way to make these more special. The garlic, lemon, pepper is awesome on here. Sprinkle that on there. Shake them around. Toss these fries up a bit. Look at that. These are really, really fantastic. They make it special. So, we've injected a turkey, did a low country boil, some home fries. To put something together, a Truly really a feast your family and friends will remember. Amazing. The question I'm asked all the time is, what do I do with the oil when I'm finished? And how do I transport it back? Well, Eastman Outdoors has come up with this special patented oil pump for filtering the oil. It has a removable filter on the bottom, and this is used for the extension of the life of your oil. First, you put this inside the oil. Make sure that the oil has been reduced to about 100 degrees. It's cooled down. Place the hose inside the original container and turn it on. It comes right into the original container from the pot and the only thing you're left with on the bottom is an inch of residue that's pretty easy, easily cleaned up. The same burner we used to fry our turkey with fits great on this leg extension kit. Raises it up, so you can do a fish fry, put some wings in here, folds up nicely, fits in the back of the car, portable. In a few minutes, we're going to show you how to do a shrimp oil on it. Now we're going to show you a few techniques to make the most of your next camping trip. We're going to blacken and fry some chicken, fry some fish, onion rings, and do a shrimp oil. Blacken the chicken, some Eastman Outdoors blackened spice, some chicken breasts, we're going to dredge the chicken in the spice. To dredge means to pull it through and coat it all the way. Place the dredged chicken on the grill. The skin side down.
Don't look nice. Next, we'll fry this chicken. Use some outdoors batter. It can be mixed with buttermilk or water. Submerge the chicken in the batter. Place in the fryer. some outdoors, southern breading, and some fish that's been soaking in buttermilk. Place the soaked fish in the breading. Shake it up, cover it. Some nice fillets. It's again right in the fryer. You always have to make a lot of this. Everybody loves it. Now, if you want to add some flavor and boost this, put any of these some outdoor seasoning right in this batter. Actually, why don't we do that with our onion rings? Some lemon pepper. Right in that mix. Onion rings are also been soaking in buttermilk. Same as the fish. Place the soaked onion rings. Right in there. This is really special at a camp site. Nice way to make the most of it, huh? Next, shrimp oil. Our pot of boiling water. Add an oil and shrimp and crawfish boil right in that water. This beautiful prawn. Down there, a few minutes, we're going to have a feast fit for a king. Now that everything's cooking, we'll be back in a few moments to check our progress. Eastman Outdoors also carries a full line of camping accessories, like this foldable, portable table. It fits neatly in this bag. It's great for camping, traveling, tailgating. We've also been using this tabletop patio heater. It extends the summer. For those cool nights at home when you want to sit outside and hang out. Food Locker 2 is a unique piece of equipment that keeps food hot or cold, has coated containers with a nonstick inside, and food gets a little too hot to touch. This handle that's right here, and you can lift it off. It's great. These have been outdoors, everything you need for outdoor living. Okay, we're back. My favorite part. It's time to eat. We've breaded some fish, moist on the inside, crispy on the outside, blackened some chicken, bread some onion rings, some flavor, fried some chicken, and last but not least, the shrimp oil. It's that vibrant color. It's bold, it's tangy, very tasty. Great feast. Okay, guys, see.
Tailgating has become a national pastime. In many cases, tailgating's become more popular than the sporting events themselves. Eastman Outdoors can help make your next tailgate a great success. All right, now we're at our tailgate. We're gonna make some Cajun burgers, Mojave chicken wings, potato chips. Make the Cajun burgers, we have ground beef, and with Eastman Outdoors, crazy Cajun seasoning, right in there. Mix it up. Really important to thoroughly mix that in there. Make your patties. And right on the grill. All right. Now, we're ready to do the wings. Chicken wings with 350 degree oil. The same technique that we use with our turkey of lowering slowly because the reaction with the moisture to the oil. Combo grill is also great for broths. Now, you have the wings in there. When they're done, they're going to look a little like this. So, take our Mojave wing sauce. Coat these wings. Get them nice and coated. Here they are. Ready to eat. Great smell. Here you go, guys. Now we'll make some potato chips. Thin sliced potatoes. Put them right in the oil. 350 degrees as well. Those are finished. Pull them up. Add some seasoning. Once again, we'll toss them. Have chips. Okay, I showed you how to deep fry a turkey, do a low country boil. We went to a campsite, fried some fish, did a shrimp boil, and blackened some chicken. And we just covered wings, Cajun burgers, and potato chips. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Have fun with your Eastman Outdoor products, and good cooking. Eastman has everything you need for a successful outdoor cooking experience. From cooking kits, pots and utensils, to seasoning, marinades and grills, Eastman Outdoors is the choice of the outdoor gourmet. For more information on products featured in this video, visit our website at www.eastmanoutdoors.com or call 810-733-6360 for the dealer nearest you.